Vericut 9.3 enables users to connect directly from CNC machines on the shop floor for use in Vericut. The first connective ability being released with Vericut 9.3 is PreCheck, which obtains data from real CNC machines to ensure Vericut's virtual machine is the best possible digital twin by checking the job setup information on the real machine matches what was verified in Vericut. Identify important differences so they can be corrected before pressing cycle start on the real CNC machine, or use the options to update Vericut with the real CNC machine information, then rerun the simulation to verify no new issues will suddenly appear on the machine. Verify that job setup information on the machine, such as NC programs, sub-programs, work offsets, etc., matches with corresponding Vericut setups. For more information on CNC Machine Connect, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 9.3, Assembly Manager was enhanced to allow users to create and manage portions of your CNC machines, such as rotary table configurations, angle heads for machining, robot end effectors, or various work-holding setups with fixtures and workpieces to be machined. The library of assemblies saves programmers time by making it easier to add assemblies into the simulation. Assemblies can be easily accessed by others and can be used in different Vericut projects. For more information on building, managing, and reusing assemblies, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 9.3, the status window and head up display, or HUD, have been improved. Users can select Field Visibility Edit Mode for editing the status window layout to streamline the machining and simulation information that is visible. The same window can be used to concurrently modify the HUD configuration. Using Status Info Preferences, users control the decimal display for status groups. You can also lock visibility of status groups to retain a familiar layout for future Vericut sessions or unlock group visibility and return to the status layout saved in the project. For more information on status and HUD improvements, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 9.3, users can achieve better machined part quality as well as longer tool and spindle bearing life by limiting tool deflection through force optimization. Deflection calculations have been expanded to account for the entire rotating tool assembly, including holders, indexable mills, and CAD model assemblies used as tools. Deflection is calculated even if holderless tools are used. Force users can add volume removal rate, VRR, as a limit, along with other optimization limits. For more information on force optimization improvements, see the Vericut help. Tool Manager in Vericut 9.3 includes a tool performance database, TPD, that suggests starting spindle speed and feed rate values to use with cutters in a wide range of stock materials. This data works with machining optimization data, MOD, in Vericut's Tool Manager. MOD displays a table of spindle speeds and feed rates that helps programmers achieve desired cutting conditions. For more information on the tool performance database and machining optimization data, see the Vericut help. Vericut 9.3 can seamlessly transfer digital twins of cutting tools with TDM's Global Line interface. Global Line is a web service-based tool management system that automatically imports a tool with manufacturer-recommended feeds and speeds, chip thicknesses, step depth, and more. Choose from multiple cutting tool assemblies in each tool list for import. Generate copies of 3D tool assemblies for use in Vericut or link directly to TDM Global Line with automatic updates when there are tooling changes without generating 3D copies. For more information on the TDM Global Line interface, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 9.3, the tool manager has several convenience options that make it easier to build and modify cutting tools. The Attach Gauge Point 2 option can attach the gauge point to a holder, so when you move that holder, the gauge point stays in the proper relationship with it. Similarly, an Attach Driven Point 2 option 
attaches the driven point to a cutter to keep it in alignment with the cutter if it moves. Veracut will automatically set these options when it can. Right mouse button options make them easy to set in the tool tree, such as after graphically selecting a component to receive an attachment. For tools to find having a separate model representing the cutter's shank, use as shank and keep shank with cutter options identify the object as a shank for collision error reporting and enable the shank plus cutter assembly to be moved as a single object. With these new options set, modifying tools such as adjusting cutter stickout length is fast and easy. For more information on using the tool manager, see the Veracut help. Veracut 9.3 offers a dark mode color theme for users that prefer darker colors to ease eye strain and provide more striking views of the simulation. For more information on dark mode, see the Veracut help.